As you can see in the picture, that's the fiend staring down at Randy Orton. That's a tease of a feud coming in, but we'll talk about it in, later on in this review. Welcome to the Raw Review. So, Raw kicked off with Drew McIntyre kicking off Raw with he wants to be champion again. He wants to beat Randy Orton. This is Survivor Series month. He wants to be Randy Orton. The Miz, aka Mr. Money in the Bank, interrupted him. And, um, basically, The Miz and John Morrison were literally antagonizing Drew McIntyre until Drew had it with them and attacked Miz and Morrison. Honestly, I didn't expect that to be him. I didn't expect Miz to show up, but, like, he's Mr. Money in the Bank. You don't expect him to show up. History might repeat itself, so stay tuned. And then the next match, the first match of Raw, is Jeff Hardy versus AJ Styles. With his guard, aka the bouncer from Raw Underground, aka the big ninja, Jordan. I, don't, I can't pronounce his last name. His name is Jordan, all I know is that. Yeah, AJ Styles won. Clean. That match was clean. That match was a clean finish. Jordan did not interfere other than ca other than catching Ma Jeff Hardy. That didn't count as interference. But, um... Yeah, that was a clean finish right there. You cannot lie. That was a clean finish. And right after that, Elias attacks Jeff Hardy with a guitar. And that was it. Then we move on to the next match. An impromptu match. Lucha House Party versus to Akira Tozawa and Drew Gulak. Archer was just there in the middle of the match until Lucha House Party actually won the match. I thought it was going to be disqualification. And then Truth almost lost the title against four of them. But um, that was it. No 24 7 title segments on Raw. That was it. That was just it. Now we go to the Firefly Funhouse. With. Alexa Bliss actually putting um, arsenic on Rabbling Rabbit's mouth, which can kill you. Well, Rabbling Rabbit, Rabbling Rabbit did not die until the fiend started whacking him with that sign. Yes, I think I know what sign are you talking about. This sign right here. That's the same sign he used this back in 2017. That's the same sign he used. That's the same sign he used. Ignore the messages. That's the same sign he used. So, yeah, it's happening. This and this is happening. Let me go to the next match. Keith Lee versus Elias. Talking about Elias. Universal Truth is actually trending number one worldwide. I never knew someone like Elias can actually trend. But whatever. Um, I don't know why they make Keith Lee win by a distraction. Keith Lee wins and um, then Jeff attacked Elias with the guitar and then that was it. And then we go to the Hurt Business versus Retribution and 8-man elimination. MVP was eliminated because they made... Because WWE made it. Mia Yim dance like a moron and an idiot. She's toxic. She's toxic. I don't care. She's toxic. But um, they made her. What the hell was that? I don't know. Was that a fit or a dance? A ritual dance? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know retribution a ritual dance. Had some rituals. Had some ritual dances. I don't know. I didn't know about that. The MVP was eliminated thanks to Slapjack. Slapjack deserves better. Is working. Except until he got speared by Lashley. And then Lashley and T-Bar, a.k.a. Dominic Dajakovic, got eliminated. And then, um, Mace got eliminated by Shelton and Cedric. And then Al Ali decided to use a chair against Cedric and gets DQ'd. And the Hurt Business win. I don't know when this rivalry is going to end. But let's move on to the next. Actually, no, I'm going to talk about this. The Retribution, they're a laughing stock. They're a fucking laughing stock. People laughed at Retribution backstage. They're a laughing stock. Like they don't, we didn't take them seriously. Even with Ali, Ali's trying to make us take them seriously. 
but it's not working. It's not working. With that ritual dance Mia Yim was doing at K Reckoning. And what the hell they were j and then like they were jobbing to Shelton, Cedric, and Lashley. Y'all y'all are mad. And then they make T Bar and Dominic Dodjakovic get counted out. That was a really bad move right there. Editor, Mia Yim, that really sucked. That made you look like a moron. That made you look like a more an idiot when you are in real life. Because you're toxic. I don't know. Tell us a real one. Real one wanted me to say this. Real one. Sorry, Mia Yim. But it was real one that wanted me to say this. WWE real one. So yeah, Miz versus... Let's go to the next match. Miz versus Drew McIntyre. Nothing went wrong there. Just Drew McIntyre winning. Then we go into a segment that's really something. The New Day was impersonating the Street Profits because they're going to send a message to them because they have the Street Profits at Survivor Series. And Asuka came in. It was really funny. Asuka came in. Asuka had a match against Sasha Banks, who we, who we have seen with that match. We have seen before. But honestly, like, I don't care. Like... They finally took the towel off of Bailey. I can't shit on it. Like, I can't shit on it. Why would I even shit on it? Because Sasha finally took the title off of Bailey, which took WWE a long time to pull, pull that trigger. And they finally did it. WWE finally pulled that damn trigger. And it happened. And then the Hurt Business came in. And then they were going to have their, and then they're going to have to tease their match against Sami Zayn, which had happened before, and that got Sami Zayn vertigo. And torn to the rotator cuffs. So, <laughs> I'm going to be really surprised if Sami Zayn actually comes out not injured. So, um, yeah. Asuka and New Day want the smoke. Her business want those tag titles. That was pretty much it. Now we go on to the. Next match. Well, we're gonna go with the Pat Buck and Adam Pierce segment where they were announcing women's Survivor Series members with Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, Mandy Rose, and Dan and Dana Brooke. That's the four people out of five so far. Because the fifth member was supposed to be the winner of this fatal four way between Lana, Lacey Evans, Peyton Royce, and Nikki Cross. Which they changed Nikki Cross's theme. I'm surprised they did that. Well, yeah, Lana wins. Like, bruh. Like, like I want to talk about the team. The team has two unsafe, two unsafe workers, two jobbers, and one average wrestler that even that barely even that barely even wrestles because people barely look look into her. Yeah, so the two unsafe workers are Shayna and Nia and Shayna. The jobbers are Dana and. Lana and the average person is Mandy Rose. You're always gonna have that average ass wrestler in the team. So you're gonna have that average ass person in the team. That's Mandy Rose. Here we go to this. Not gonna lie, it was a pretty good match. It was a pretty good match. I should say this was match of the night with all the other matches. Matt Riddle versus Sheamus. Clean match, clean finish. That's what makes it good. Sheamus. Wins against Matt Riddle. And honestly, I did not expect that. Like, the way that Raw is getting a good team, WWE is making a good Raw team with AJ Styles, Keith Lee, and Sheamus. Like, you have these guys. You have you have the veteran, AJ Styles. You're going to have this team. You're going to have the veteran, the, the MVP, the powerhouse, actually, no, the MVP shame is the powerhouse is Ke Keith Lee, and then we need to know the other two. And the veteran, AJ Styles. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna have the workhorse Seamus, the MVP Keith Lee, and the veteran, AJ Styles. You need the other two. So I'll, I'll get to those other two later. Because they because they're gonna reveal those other two next week. And then we go to the moment of bliss. The moment of bliss with Randy Orton. Randy Orton called out the fiend. But instead he got McIntyre. 
But either way, McIntyre is going for a Claymore kick and the Fiend stares Dan. The Fiend came in and just stared down at Drew, Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton and then disappeared. And Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton started brawling and then that was it. Like that was it. The brawl went off the air and they were still brawling. So honestly, I don't know. They might be doing a triple threat. Damn it. They might be doing a triple threat. I don't know if it might end up Drew winning the title back or Randy retaining or The Fiend winning it for his second reign. And then, you know. Or it might either, it might be unexpected and have Miz cash in. You don't know it until you see it. You don't know. You don't know yet. You don't know when Miz is going to cash in. That's the unexpected part. All right, so that's it for the raw review. Le leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, share this to all your friends. That's it.